Todd Petty's done an amazing job in, in just two, two quick years. He has a, you know, a, a terrific grasp of how to coach, um, how to relate to his players, uh, how to manage his players. Play this game to win. He pushes us farther than I think any of us can go on our own. Like he shows us um, where we can go. We've got to compete. You've got to compete every point, every single one. But he's also a tireless worker. He works extremely hard getting good players here. The culture has changed dramatically over the last couple of years. Probably one of the hardest working people I've ever met. Um, I think he, probably from the moment he wakes up to the moment he goes to bed, he's thinking about what he can do to make Texas Tech women's tennis better. I think some teams settle for uh, maybe less than they can achieve, and I think that he pushes us to be the best that we can be. Nice hold, good hold. It's something that he truly desires is for Texas Tech women's tennis to, to be a nationally prominent tennis program. Come on, come on, let's go, let's go. A lot of energy, come on. Very driven, he, uh, he expects a lot out of us, but I know it's because he just, he sees a lot of potential in all of us and it's his practices and everything are tough, but he's just trying to get us to reach our full potential and he wants the best for us. Serve, right back, let's go. You can do it, come on. But they're gonna continue to get better and better because he pushes the, the, the players hard. You know, the talent level is, is incredibly different than it was just a couple of years ago. I think uh, Todd Petty is clearly one of the best coaches in the country. I mean, they're going back. Good, good solid backhand, yeah. you know, um, could compete with the forehand side. I mean, I thought you played well. I think I could consider myself, and I think my players would consider me as a player's coach, very open door policy. You know, I mean, it's, uh, I think maybe when you're working, working with women's athletics, they've, they've got to trust you, they got to believe in you. You battled in, you kept competing, kept competing, you finally got it. I mean, he knows my whole family, he knows what's going on with my brother's tennis. It's definitely a very open relationship. It doesn't just leave it on the court. Okay, go Tech. <laughs> Being a part of a family atmosphere, and he definitely has created that with our team. That's one of the things that the girls told me when I got here. Put him up. <laughs> that's the only one I want. That's the only thing I want in the show, right there. <laughs> and I think these girls do. They believe in Coach Chapman and myself as, as much as we believe in them. And if you can ever get the, uh, those girls on the same page and buying into everything, then um, you know I believe that you know they can do some pretty extraordinary things. Play relaxed, play loose, okay, and play to be dominant. Okay, this team plays to be dominant. Okay, it was a phenomenal start. I can't be prouder of the way you began but they've got to trust you. And if you don't have an open door policy, if you can't get down on their level and, and really discuss you know, the problems that they're going through and the stress of, of the travel and the homework and the work, then they don't really see eye to eye with you. And, and, and we do, and we're, we're able to discuss those things and know what they're feeling and, and know when to step on them and say, hey, we need to push right here or let off a little bit. So I think it's more of a player's coach relationship. Coach Chapman is, um, you know, I mean, he, he has five daughters, so he's he he, he grows up, he's grown up with uh, nothing but women in his life, and he's been a head coach before at UT Pan American. Um, he's he's been in this business a long time. Go ahead, Sander. Good plan there. Let's go. Look for that. It's nice to have him on the sidelines sometimes when you're having a tough match and you just need that little laugh to get you going again. He's always there to like pick us back up. Being in this as long as he has, and he's coached men as well. You know, I think he's seen everything, and so he's he's very much experienced in what he does. Good job, Sandra. Hey, way to have confidence on the high ball there. Let's go. Big big targets. Let's go. My biggest thing is getting to learn, uh, getting to know and learn my players' personalities, uh, and then adapting my style around that. Good shot, Sandra. With every player, that's a little different. I think the one thing Todd and I are 100% on board with each other is that you know, we're very much team oriented. Uh, we focus on the team even though it's an individual sport. To me, that makes it things much more fun. Good job, Caroline. Let's go, Tech. Getting a group of girls to believe that, that one common goal, you know, we hear that a lot in, in sports uh, as far as you're trying to get a team to come together with one common goal, but it's especially true, I think, and, and it's especially, especially important in our sport. Good job, Caroline. To rely on each other. Uh, and to believe in each other. And I think my big thing is, is, is just a team aspect, 
believe in what you're doing, believe you care about them, probably number one, and that you have their best interest at heart, then I think they'll, they'll do anything for you. Good effort, good effort. You can tell that they care more about us as people even than our tennis sometimes. I mean, they do care a lot. Let's, let's talk about the positives. I thought we played really good doubles. I thought we played good doubles today. Um, you know, I thought um, we were able to maintain some really good leads, get some people off the court. KG, great job today getting off the court early. We really needed that. Um, so, you know, I thought you played exceptionally well. I think, you know, everybody here owes a, owes a hand to, to Liz. I mean, that girl has, like, three top 100 ranking wins already in the last month. We talk almost every day about accountability. Um, you know, that, that kind of encompasses a lot of things. Accountability in the classroom, um, within the community, doing your part, playing your role, um, and then also accountability to your teammates and your coaches. Yeah, I think we're going to have to learn um, how to be accountable one through six. I felt like at times we didn't compete. Well, we competed, but we didn't, we didn't fight. And, and willing to make some changes in, in our game and, and that cost us. That's a big thing on our team is accountability and it's something that's always talked about is accountability one through six and that's just wanting to play every point because you know you're trying to win for your team and not yourself. You know Sam I thought you played well we had some roller coasters there up and down but I thought you uh, you battled really hard um, did a good job there so they're accountable to themselves and to this team because it's such an individual sport, but yet it affects, you know, your one spot affects the entire team. So, you know, that's something we preach every day. Other than that, let's go back to work. Um, we'll take Monday off, um, get rested. Um, we'll go back to work on Tuesday and, and start focusing on some of that stuff. Okay. We talk a lot about being accountable, and, and we're lucky with the group of girls we have. They're very accountable in the classroom. They do tons of community service, and you know they put the work in every day. Even in the classroom, they make sure that we're doing um, as well as we can be, and it, it transfers onto the court as well too. So, like when we work hard on the court, I think it tra it trains us basically to work hard in the classroom, which will lead to us being successful in the future. Obviously, our number one goal is for them to get an education. Um, and, and be successful in life after that. You know, we know it's all about the career and what you're getting from here. So we really stress that part. And when they leave here, we want them to really get involved with the community and, and have uh, experiences that they can draw off of. And, and really and truly, it's just, this is a time of your life that you'll never get back. You know, four years of being a student athlete. And so we want them to draw off that and be able to say, you know, we really loved our time at Texas Tech and we loved the, the lessons that we were taught here on the court and in the classroom and within the community and grow up to be just true professionals in their, in their field that they go into and as they go on to be mothers and wives and things like that. Even though there are tennis coaches and I mean, we're mostly together on the court, they do play a big role in off the court. Like they are always there with, if we ever need help with school, with our family, with our friends, like, I feel like our team is a big family, and even though it is very, I mean, it's based around tennis, it's, it's a lot more than that. We try to, you know, embody the whole person, not just the, the athlete, and, you know, I hope that they learn about discipline, about time management, and, you know, and they take away good experiences from us, and then learn some lessons here that they've been able to use in their whole life, and, and that's what I love about working with the kids from 18 to 21 years old, because this is the time you really get a chance to affect their lives, and, and, and really get to see them grow as people and, and be able to use that as they grow up to be true adults. Uh, we really hope and aspire to have as a relationship with, with our players beyond tennis. We're all there for each other and I definitely feel like the coaches um, play a big role in our lives um, and with not just tennis but just our everyday lives. You have a relationship obviously after tennis and I think if you have that that means you've done everything that you should have done while that student athlete's here. Not only like just by coaching and stuff, but also by making sure that we're happy and doing well in school. If you've done your job and you, you've made them uh, believe and feel that, that they're not just a player for you while they're here, then I think you'll have that when they leave. And I, like I said, I think if, if you have players that still contact you and are in touch with you and, and want to know how you're doing, to me as a coach, that's one of the best things. They let us know that they care about us as people, not only as tennis players, so I think they'll be getting a lot of those phone calls for sure 15 years down the road.